Hi, welcome to Acme Machining. Today we're going to be getting rid of the old KC45 or Rongfu 45, clone, whatever you want to call them. And we're getting a new uh, 3VM from Modern Tools in Calgary, Alberta. So uh, we've got to get this out of the way and uh, get ready for the new machine. I'm not going to record everything, I'm just going to take a few little bits and bits there as I move things out of the way and uh, we'll keep you posted. Thank you. Okay, so here's how we pick up the old one. It's been a good machine, it's just uh, 9 by 32 and I'm going to a 10 by 50 with a 36 inch uh, travel on the x-axis, so that's going to be a big improvement. Okay, because this is a three-phase machine, we had to get a rotary phase converter. There's the idler motor down there. Now this here is labeled Canadian Rotary, but it is actually American Rotary. As you can see, as we get closer there down the corner, it's just here in Canada, they call it Canadian Rotary. Okay, we got a single phase connection here for uh, DRO and our uh, feeds for our X and Y on the new machine. Uh, just waiting to find out what plug I need for the three phase power. So as soon as I find out, we'll get that wired up and we'll be ready. There's the two of them together. The old KC-45 and the new modern VM-3. Okay, we've been rolling it in on this steel frame and the uh, round dowels, the steel dowels. And uh, it's been working it its way into its new home. So, I'll get back to you a little later. The wires coming out of the machine are labeled R, S, and T. And R is L1. S is L2 and T is L3. So I've got these all wired up, got a ground there, and now I'll get the cover on. Okay, cover's on. We've got the three phase running there, and we've also got a dedicated 110 volt line. Uh, I was going to get that set up so I could run all the accessories on this machine, but uh, it's got a transformer all built into the system, so I don't need it. But Extra electrical is always handy to have. This machine, it comes with a three-axis DRO. And I've unwrapped the control head there for all the spindle controls and whatnot. And I'm going to mount up the uh, DRO. Okay, so now we're going to start hooking up some of the handles here that come with this unit. Get things hooked up and we'll uh, take some measurements to see just where it's going to fit properly. Takes up a little bit more floor space than the, the little king did. So. Sure, we'll be able to do lots more with this to make up for everything. So, just got to figure out exactly how far these. Got to make sure that when I close up my y-axis, that I'm not running into the cabinets with anything. So, we're gonna. Get things moving and uh, get some measurements here. So, be right back. So, here's the new mill. Sitting where it's going to live. And I've got to make a set of feet for it. And that's going to be another video. And I've just got to get a few things moved around in here because I've still got a mess of stuff to get out of the way because I got work to do tomorrow but that's the new machine 
Couldn't be any higher. I've only got four inches on top. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. If you want one, call Mark Seneca, Modern Tools in Calgary, Alberta.